Hey guys, story time. So, um, basically, um, this, uh, little, this is going to be my first story time, and one of my only story times, but, um, basically, uh, Now, I do want to go ahead and clarify that, you know, I was, you know, like 12 at the time, so the, it was to make sense. So, you know, hang on with me. So, basically, um, me, me and my friend, we loved cutting grass. We, it was, we faked cutting grass, but, you know, we played pretend cutting grass and all that. Um, keep in mind, I was like 11, maybe. So, you know, I was, I was young, pretty young. Um, and so I had just gotten these two new little toys. And so we were going to go try them out. Um, and so we were cutting my grass and then I said, hey, let's go over to your house and start cutting your grass. Um, and, um, we, you know, got finished cutting the main parts, and there's this little tiny area, and it's about two car lengths, two and a, or one and a half big, so anyways, it's not that big at all, um, and, um, we started cutting, and before I start, you know, talking about this other part, I just want to go ahead and clarify, he has a Great Dane, now I, I just want to say this, I'm 5'11", and the dog comes up to where my ribs start, so that dog is tall, it's a big dog. Um, it's a big, giant Great Dane, um, and, um, so, um, I had, um, moved over there, my friend had, or my friend had started over there, and I was going to follow him over there, and then, um, I noticed that the gate was open, I was like, Maybe she's maybe they're just cleaning up back there. Now keep in mind, they keep the dog back there. So um basically I didn't really think anything of it until I actually saw the dog laying there while the fence was while the fence was open. And I thought he was he was asleep at that point in time and I said, Dylan run now he said why and I said Dylan d please don't ask questions run fast do not slow down for anything and at that point the dog woke up and we were screaming as loud as we could and keep in mind this was his dog so I mean if they if they're scared of their own dog, you know it's bad. And, uh, I was wearing jeans at the time, um, and I will never forget this moment. Um, it has stuck with me for these past three years, and I will never forget it. So, um, I started running. My friend was ahead of me. I was literally bolting out of there. I couldn't have gone any faster. And that dog took maybe four steps. And when I say he took a, a bite out of me, boy, he took a big bite out of me. I was screaming as hard as I could, running home. And my adrenaline was punch pumping so fast I had no clue that he bit me until I actually ran inside and I started to slow down I was like oh god the dog bit me and I 
threw myself down on the couch, and I was literally, uh, I, you, you could have thought I ran a marathon, I ran so hard, and, um, my dad, he's hard of hearing, um, so, I said, the dog, or the dog bit me, and he said, what dog, and I said, Sco Scooby across the street, and, um, and yes, that is the dog's name, Scooby, um, Scooby-Doo is actually his full name, but they call him Scooby for short, um, and that night was just horrible. After my friend left, I was going to try to go into the living room. And I was literally having to walk with a cane. It hurt so bad. Um, so, for anyone that's thinking that it's a good idea to play around with dogs, I promise you, uh, my life, that it is not a fun idea. You will either end up getting your leg ripped off, or you could die. Um, now, at that point, at that point in time, I wasn't planning on the dog, you know, to be loose. I had no clue the dog was loose. I was just playing with my friend. And the dog still bit me, so, you know. The time that I, you know, go over there, well, actually, me and him aren't really friends anymore. Ever since COVID hit, we've just kind of separated. Um, but... Yeah, that is one thing that I'll never forget. And I'm currently rubbing a spot right now. And I can feel the pressure. Um, I mean, after a little while of rubbing it, uh, the nerve pain is just hor horrible. Um, sorry for that weird noise. It's just my uh, cover, or my sheets on the bed, um, but, um, yeah, uh, the dog just was crazy, and the, the weird, and the scary part, and also kind of the weird part, is the same family lives across the street, and the same dog is still over there. And I just want to say this, um, this much. Whew, that scared me. Whew, why? Didn't know what that was. But it was just my blanket over my bed. But, um, I, like, about a year or two after the, yeah, I think it was about a year or a couple months after, uh, the attack. Um, I'd be asleep, and I'd wake up, and my leg would be cramping so bad, like, I would be screaming. I would literally scream myself to sleep those nights, and I, just the pain was immeasurable. Um, it felt like someone was cutting into my leg. It, it honestly did, um... And it, al and, it, and it almost felt like he was biting me again, in a weird way, so. I don't know if it's just like the nerve damage afterwards, or what it was, but. I'm not with the spot, I still have the same exact nerve damage, the exact same, you know, everything. And that's probably something that you guys didn't know about me. Um, but they have a pool over there, and you know, sometimes I would go swim over there. And this was before the dog bit me. Um, and there's one time that I was getting out of the pool. And again, I won't ever forget this, but um, I was getting out of the pool. And the dog, same dog, exact same dog, got its mouth around my ankle. And in the time that he snapped, his jaw shut in the time that I pulled my leg back up he could bit me 
you could have bit my ankle off and I wouldn't be able to walk. Um, sometimes I'll have you know, a little bit of throbbing right there just for some odd random reason. Um, there's another time that the dog actually jumped into the pool. Well, he didn't actually jump into the pool, but he almost did. And there was actually one time where I had a nightmare about it. And the dog jumped in the pool and bit me on my ankle. So, that dog has caused me a lot of nightmares over the years. But, honestly, I've kind of forgotten all about it, to be honest. Um, but, if you're wondering, that's why I hate dogs. That is why I hate them. And I know what people are going to say in the comments. Well, duh, no, all dogs aren't like that. So what? I, I, at this point, I don't trust them. I was chased by a dog when I was little. And I tripped and fell on my scooter. And I almost broke my leg. Um, so yeah. That, I have several main reasons for hating dogs. Another one, um, yeah, I was at one of my other friend's house before I moved, and, uh, we, we were having a sleepover, and he took me down to his basement, and he had his pit bull sitting on the bed, didn't know the pit bull was in there, and the pit bull started growling at me, and he said, Josh, go back upstairs now, and I said, yes, sir. And he handled the dog, but, um, I just haven't had a good, you know, I just haven't had a good story with dogs. Um, I hate them. Now there are some dogs I do like. I have had plenty of dogs in my life that I've loved. Uh, there was a dog, um, and it was my neighbor's dog, and it was named Maggie. When I tell you that was the prettiest dog I've ever seen, it was like a wiener dog, but almost like a rug was draped over its tail, and that's what its tail looked like. It almost looked like a waterfall just about, and it was the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. And the cool part about the dog was it was skittish, like me. Because at the time, I was like five. And so, Maggie would actually let me pet her. So, I, I liked Maggie. Maggie was a good dog. N never once did she growl at me. Ever. Um, but back to, uh, other leg injuries that I've had over the years. Uh... There was this one time that I was at PE. And I was in seventh grade. I was at PE, I was climbing up the bleachers, and this one kid ran into me. Or, I was climbing up the bleachers, and my leg just so happened to be in the right spot where it was my shin, the front of my shin, was up against a metal bar of the bleachers. And the guy ran directly into that leg. And when I tell you, I was screaming. I was... Mm, I had to lay there for a minute. It was so bad. And the weird part was... If, the guy didn't even notice. He literally didn't even notice. And carried on like he had no clue what happened. That's one of the things that still makes me mad to this day. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, um, you kind of started me thinking about medical things that I've had happen in my life. And when I was little, well, I'll actually start at the very beginning. So my mom had my sister, 
and they tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to have me and they had me once there were three of them I don't know I have never known their names um and they my mom had a miscarriage and um my mom was told that she couldn't have any more babies um and she always says this and she says god had another plan and poop here comes a baby svc calhoun 4653 coming into the world to bring you eas videos uh for days but um basically when i was little i had bad i'm talking bad pneumonia and it was literally bad it was so bad they were thinking about putting me on a respirator just about or not a respirator but a um ventilator that's how bad it was but thankfully i was cured Uh, there was one doctor that actually considered hospitalizing me for one thing that I had. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but it, it was like a fever. And he said, if this fever doesn't drop by so-and-so date, I'm hospitalizing. Or I'm putting him in the hospital. And I was little, too. I was maybe one, maybe two at the most. Um... Hmm, another medical story that happened when I was little. Okay, so me and my sister, we were playing ball in the living room. And, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, your average, you know, playing ball. You know, we were just kicking this little ball around. And I went to go pick it up, but I lost my balance. I hit my head on this uh, brick. And blood just started gushing out of my head. Um, it literally just started gushing out of my head. Um, I was crying and crying and crying and crying. Um, and again, I was like maybe six at the time. Um, and I... Or well, we got to this, uh, hospital called RMC Regional Medical Center over in Anniston. Um, and we got there, and my mom was started telling the receptionist that, you know, what happened, and they said, well, you're gonna have to wait a couple minutes. I literally had blood gushing out of my head. And to be honest, I, there were several moments in my childhood where I could have died. Easily. Easily could have died. Easily. And basically, I hit my head so hard that I think it caused a little bit of a concussion. Um, but, um, I was, so much blood was coming out of my head that my mom was scared that if I even closed my eyes, that I was going to die. Right then and there. So she kept on telling me, don't go to sleep, don't go to sleep. And it was like maybe 8 o'clock at night, so that was basically what time I had to go to bed at 8 o'clock every night. And, um, we got there at RMZ and they said, well, you're going to have to wait a couple minutes, our, you know, so-and-so is full. And she said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go to, uh, CARES, uh, over in the exchange, over in the exchange. Uh, at Oc or no, it wasn't in the ex exchange. It was over uh, in Aniston, and so we drove a little bit farther down and rushed me in. And they said, "All right, uh, don't worry about getting him signed in. Uh, get him up to the second floor and get him all stitched up." Okay, and we got up there, and the doctor was trying to put glue, or well. They 
ran out of the uh, skin glue that holds your skin together so I, it'll, it'll heal. And, um, you know, they didn't have any more of that, so they had to use staples. And, um, my mom started yelling at the doctor saying, use whatever you have to use, uh, you know, staples, glue, you know, stitches, whatever. Um, and so they ended up finding some glue that they could use, wrapping my head up in a big bandage where, you know, I looked like I didn't have any more hair, and so I'm fine. But basically what happened was my mom literally had to lay on top of me to get for me to be still because I literally had no clue what was going on. They were shining a bright light in my face and blood was gushing out of my head by the second. Um, I was crying as hard as I could and it was just a scary moment. So yeah, those are some of the uh, close calls that I've had in life and just kind of some of the medical emergencies and kind of painful moments that I've had, so, uh, this video is 20 minutes long, I just realized that, but, uh, anyways, to wrap it up quick, I will see you guys later, and bye for now.